Obesity in youth is a major public health concern around the world. One out of every seven youth from developed countries has obesity. Obesity in youth often persists into adulthood, adding further pressure on healthcare systems and increasing the risk of type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. What if there was a way we could help to change this pattern? LDL is the most common lipid marker used to detect risk. It is traditionally measured during the fasting state. However, because it does not change as we eat throughout the day, LDL cholesterol may be less sensitive at detecting metabolic risk in youth. As an alternative, remnant cholesterol is a novel blood lipid measure that reflects dietary fat metabolism. As we eat, levels fluctuate throughout the day. It is measured during the non-fasting state. Recently, researchers at the University of Alberta showed that non-fasting remnant cholesterol is a better predictor of future heart disease risk in youth. Youth with obesity have similar levels of LDL and higher remnant cholesterol compared to their peers without obesity. One of the biggest risks resulting from obesity is fat intolerance, which can occur when the body takes longer to clear dietary fats from the blood. Therefore, youth with obesity take longer to metabolize the same amount of dietary fat as youth with healthy weight, increasing risk of future heart disease. Remnant cholesterol is a surrogate marker for fat intolerance, so it can capture the risk early, allowing interventions to change this trajectory. Although obesity is a primary contributing factor, the causes of high remnant cholesterol can be multifactorial through genetics, unhealthy diets, and sedentary lifestyles. Non-fasting lipid testing is more reflective of our normal physiology. Currently, researchers at the University of Alberta are planning a new research study in youth to decrease future heart disease risk. Using a novel app for community engagement, participants will measure their non-fasting remnant cholesterol using a handheld device. If fat intolerance is confirmed, a CDC-approved virtual platform will recommend proven nutraceuticals and positive lifestyle changes to reduce the overall risk. For more information about our work, to support us or participate, please contact us online and refer to our other resources.